Hey there, everybody. It's Andy Jenkins, and I'm one of the co-founders of Webinar Jam. While my Phil Sam is off making another instructional video for you, I wanted to actually give you a demonstration of the Webinar Jam Studio application. So what I want to do is walk you through not only setting up a webinar, but I also want to show you some of the really unique and patent pending marketing and monetization features that make Webinar Jam Studio really, in my opinion, and an opinion of a lot of other people, the most powerful webinar platform available anywhere. So some highlights of this demo are going to be seeing the power of the video injection engine so you can create precision messages that create dependable results. And that'll make sense in a minute. You'll also see something called feedback flow and the attendee spotlight that create maximum engagement and social proof so you can increase your offer conversion rates. And you'll also see a brand new offer display feature called Active Offers with Urgency and Scarcity Display. Now, since Webinar Jam Studio works right in your browser, let's start with the interface. We're gonna start right here with the My Webinar section, where I'll find all the webinars that I've configured and conducted over the past few days. Now, moreover, if I wanna start a new webinar, the process is very simple. You can get your webinar configured and going within just a few minutes. First of all, let me bring your attention to the video help icon. We display a different video tutorial on each individual section, so you're never lost along the way during the configuration process. By clicking on this button, a tutorial video will pop up that will teach you how to configure the webinar and hold your hand along the way. In this first step, we configured the basics of our webinar, such as the webinar name, title, description, and as well as the language. Webinar Jam is translated into a number of different languages. So if you have international users, the system will automatically translate all of the webinar pages, the entire interface, all into their preferred language. This is very useful for all of you who conduct webinars to an international audience. Now, by default, let's select English. Now, when it comes time to schedule your webinar, you have two main options. You can either get your webinar room to open up right away, just in case you want to get a webinar session going literally within a minute. Or alternatively, you can schedule the webinar at a later time and date in the calendar. Here, you have two more options. You can schedule a one-off webinar, say a webinar session tomorrow at 6 p.m. So you're going to speak about one particular topic and that's it. However, you may also want to conduct what we call a series of reoccurring webinars. Let's say that you were delivering content over a period of time. Maybe you're delivering your entire product via webinars. So say, for example, every day you're going to have a webinar at 6 p.m. for 52 weeks. Okay, let's say that that's going to be Eastern Standard Time. So at 6 p.m., and actually that would be 6 p.m. for a total of 52 weeks every Monday. And I'm going to conduct that webinar on whatever topic I might choose, and my audience will be invited to each one of those webinars. You see, the system will send them out links to the webinar room just a few minutes before the webinar session gets going. But for the purposes of this video, let's just start off with a one-off webinar. Let's say that it's going to be scheduled tomorrow at 9 p.m., and let's make that Pacific time. Now, moving down the page, I want to show you a very cool feature, Webinars On Demand. This is part of our Jams On Demand marketplace. We can select to have our webinar displayed on our webinar directory, our Jams On Demand marketplace, so other people can see that your webinar is taking place and they can register. You see, for a webinar presenter, obviously the most important factor is to get as many people as possible to attend your webinar session when you're marketing. And that's precisely how the Webinar On Demand engine can help you. Let me actually show you what the Webinar On Demand looks like. Here, you have all the different upcoming webinars that are scheduled for the upcoming days, as well as the webinar replays that have taken place in the past few weeks. So people will be coming here, they'll search for whatever category they're interested in, and then they can go ahead and register for your webinar. This is a fantastic tool and will definitely provide you more exposure for each one of your webinars that you create. So if I want to display my webinar in the Webinars On Demand section, I can define the category. Let's say that it's weight loss and fitness. There, we're done. Now let's continue to the next step. In this second tab, you'll get to configure your webinar presenters and hosts. Let's say, for example, Joe Smith, and his email is joesmith at gmail.com. You can then upload a thumbnail of your presenter if you wish. And of course, you can add multiple presenters. Let's say Mike Doe at mikedoe at gmail.com. There we go.
So we're going to have two presenters for this webinar. Let's go and continue to the next step. Now, here's where it starts to get interesting. Webinar Jam Studio comes with a number of beautiful templates that are all mobile ready. They're responsive, so they look beautiful on your iPads or iPhones or Android phones. Whatever mobile device you can use, they all look fantastic. You can simply browse through your selections and you can have them with video or without video, with bullet points or without bullet points, with images, just add text, add a countdown, you name it. You have a number of great designs that have all been proven to create high conversion. All you have to do is select whichever one is best for you. Or if you wish, Webinar Jam allows you to go with your own custom design. You simply embed the webinar registration box into your own page and host it on your own domain. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go for something simple. Let's say this one, for example. You click on Customize. And here's where you enter in your headline, your copy, and as well as the text that's actually in the registration button. For example, register now. Maybe you don't want to use that, but you get the idea. You get to upload a main image, which would obviously appear right here. And if you wish, you can upload some bullet points and add as much copy in the form of bullet points as you want. And of course, you get to select whether or not you want your registrants to fill out their first name and their phone number or just their email. The choice is yours. Once you're done, simply click on confirm and you're good to go. Let me just run through some actual examples of our predefined templates. This is the one that I've just configured with the registration button right here with the presenters displayed here with my headline, my copy, some bullet points, and finally another registration button as well as scheduling the time and the date in the calendar for this particular webinar. Let me select another template just to show you what it looks like. Let's go, for example, this one. We would go ahead and fill out the form. And now we preview this in a different tab. And this is what it looks like. You see, you have your headline right at the top with a countdown timer ticking away until the webinar scheduled date and time is going to begin. And the registration button, your bullet points we've just configured, as well as our presenters, and a little description for each presenter. And again, another registration button. And here's yet another example of a registration page. And we can customize this one really quickly. That's the headline right there. We can upload an image straight from our hard drive. Or alternatively, we can select from any of our extensive library of background images. Let me get something that's happy and bright, such as this beautiful lady right here. And let's confirm that. Now, if I want to display a video, I can paste any URL, such as a YouTube video or an Amazon S3 video, wherever it is you host it, you can simply paste the destination of that video right here. And then it's done. Okay, so let's confirm. Oops, I just need to enter some text in the registration button, and I'll just go ahead and put register now. Let's confirm and preview that here it is. Now, this is what this very simple and minimalistic registration page looks like with the background image right here, my headline, the presenter names and avatar images, and the webinar scheduled date and time and the registration button. So just in that short amount of time, we were able to knock out three registration pages. I think you're starting to see how easy this is to do. Now that we have our registration page configured, it's time to move forward to the next step. Now, this is also very cool because here we're going to configure our webinar notifications or our webinar reminders. You see, Webinar Jam Studio allows you to send email notifications or SMS and phone call notifications to your registrants so they don't forget to attend the actual webinar room at the appointed time and date in the calendar. So for example, you could send them an SMS just 15 minutes before the webinar takes off, reminding them that it's a good time to log into the webinar room. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to configure a few email notifications. Let's say that the emails are going to go out from Mike Doe at Mike Doe at gmail.com. Now select that and here are your possibilities. Upon registration, the system can send a welcome message. And also, you can schedule a number of pre-webinar reminders. Say, for example, you want to send them a reminder at 24 hours before or even 12 hours before the webinar scheduled date and time. You know, just reminding them to not forget that they've got a date with you tomorrow during that webinar session. 
And finally, you can send a last minute reminder. We usually recommend sending this email 15 or 30 minutes right before the webinar with the webinar link so they can open the email, click on the link, and they'll be redirected right away into the webinar room. And finally, after the live session, you can configure post webinar messages. Here's where you remind them about your webinar replay. Webinar Jam Studio automatically records your webinar session, uploads it to the internet, and will give you a webinar replay link so you can send it to your registrants in case they missed your live session or in case they liked your live session so much they want to watch the replay. And also you can remind them about any offer, any product, any service that you're promoting through your webinar session. So right here with your post webinar notification emails is where you can remind them about your product or your offer. So let's just go ahead and start from the beginning. We're going to quickly configure a welcome message. The system automatically fills out the email template. Obviously, you can modify this however you like. Here, you see the tags, these quick pieces of code. The system will automatically replace these pieces of code with an appropriate value for every tag. So this will be your webinar title or webinar description, name of your webinar presenters. So that's automatically filled in for you so you don't have to repeat all that while you're creating these follow-up mechanisms. And this button right here is going to give you the hyperlink to your webinar room. Like I said, you can edit this however you like. So let's just go ahead and save the changes. And now you'll see you'll have a post webinar reminder going out immediately upon registration. Now let's set a pre webinar reminder. I'm going to schedule this, let's just say 24 hours before the webinar scheduled date and time. And here is another template copy. Now, of course, you can enter whatever copy you want, but I think it's appropriate that we can enter something along the lines of hey, remember that tomorrow in 24 hours, we're going to get going with our webinar and we want to make sure you keep this link safe somewhere so you don't miss the link to the webinar room. You know, something along those lines. I'm sure you probably got it figured out. Anyway, let's configure that 24 hours before the webinar. And of course, you can add more email reminders. Again, here, a last minute reminder. Go ahead and add that. Here, you can pre-record a phone message. Basically, you record an audio message and the system will then send that message via a phone call to your attendees 15 minutes before the webinar. Now, of course, this message will play on their mobile phones, and obviously you want to remind them that they should log on to your webinar room. You can keep it real short and say something simply like, check your email, grab your link, and log into the webinar room five minutes before we get going. And of course, you could say something along those lines in SMS or send them an email again with another link to the webinar room. Now, here's something that's very important and very powerful, post-webinar messages. Here, you can customize different email reminders after the webinar. Let's say that I want to send this email notification 24 hours after the webinar has taken place. And here, I can segment who specifically is to receive this particular email. I can send an email, for example, to all the registrants or anybody that registered for my webinar and maybe wasn't able to attend the webinar, or maybe people that did attend the webinar, but they didn't buy because they left before they were able to get the offer. You can send a different message depending on the behavior of your registrant and your attendee so that you can send them the most appropriate message to help them to take action. You see how important and powerful this segmentation feature is. Let's set up one to send this particular email to all registrants. And instead of the button linking them to the webinar room, now it sends them to the webinar replay. And again, you can edit this message as you like. Now, once we have all of our webinar notifications ready, it's time to confirm and go to the next step. In this step, you can integrate Webinar Jam Studio with pretty much any third-party platform so your registrants are automatically subscribed to your own mailing list. We integrate with all the major brands in the market, and you can also integrate third-party software via our API, or as well integrate with a third-party tracking system such as Google Analytics or Facebook Metrics, even your own tracking system. 
Now, of course, after they register, you'll want to send them to a thank you page. And here is where you can customize that thank you page. You can customize it in ways like embedding a custom video or displaying any sort of message you like. This is what the thank you page looks like. And this is the page that your registrants will be directed to after they successfully register for your webinar. And right here, they can grab the actual link to the webinar room. They can set a reminder on their calendar. And if you configure any custom video or text message, they'll also be greeted by a welcome message that you may want to display. Now here, this is where you configure the actual live room that your webinar takes place in. And we have a number of cool features for you to have fun with and get higher results with. For example, pre-configured webinar polls and surveys. You can pre-configure a number of polls. So at any point during the live session, you can simply pop in that poll or that survey so your webinar attendees can vote in real time. Let me just show you the polls and surveys in action. What you're seeing right now is a double window. And this one is the Webinar Jam Studio console as an attendee. Now, I, as an administrator, would be broadcasting from this window, whereas my attendees would be seeing this type of interface. Obviously, this is where my video signal would be broadcasted, and this is the sidebar that we gain access to. So, I, as the admin, control what happens and what I display in the sidebar. So, I'm going to pop the poll that I just configured. I would simply load it. Now, all of these polls I pre-configured from the configuration dashboard. So let's say I want to pop at any time during the webinar a specific poll. I load it and I display it. And as you can see, my attendees will see on their sidebar a specific poll or survey that I'm broadcasting to my audience. And of course, they get to vote. You know, what's your favorite dish? And I'm going to say pasta and pizza. And I vote. And now from my admin console, I'm seeing the votes in real time. You see, pasta and pizza, one vote for 100%, right on. <laughs> now I end the poll and the results will be displayed to my whole audience whenever I decide to finish that poll. You can pop any poll or any survey at any time. Say that I want to display this one and they get the vote on the next poll or survey that I propose to them. Now back at the configuration dashboard, I can also configure what we call a pop-in offer or our webinar offer. And this is basically any type of promotional message for any type of product I might be pitching or any service I might be promoting through my webinar sessions. So just like the polls, I would simply configure any offer, which is going to look just like this at any time and at any moment through my webinar, I can pop that display and this offer is seen by all of my attendees. So I can enter a headline right here. I can upload an image of any product or service that I might be promoting, as well as the link or the text in the button. And then you can use the redirect destination of this button to send your attendees to your sales page or your checkout page or whatever destination page you want. And you can configure a number of pop-in offers. If you want them to take multiple actions during your webinar, you just upload them all right here and you can display them on demand. So let me actually show you how this works. So here we are in the live webinar room and I would go into the pop in offer tab. Here, I would select the specific offer I want to display to my audience and I'm going to load it up. And the minute I click on the display offer button, check out what's going to happen right here, which is the interface my webinar attendees would be seeing on their screen. So I display the offer and everyone gets to see my product or the service that I might be promoting. And what's cool is they can actually click the add to cart button and purchase the product instead of having to open up a new tab browser and try to remember what the URL was that they were supposed to go to. Now, let me show you something called the scarcity feature. You can actually display a scarcity counter right on the top of your offer. And so, for example, maybe you want to limit the amount of units that you're selling at that time, or maybe you want to add a countdown timer to encourage sales and further promote some urgency to your offer. So what we can do here is implement a scarcity page by time, and I'm going to allow them five minutes to buy my product once I display that offer. So again, the moment I click on display offer, 
the countdown timer is going to start ticking towards zero. So check this out. And there it is. Everybody sees my offer plus the countdown on top. So they know if they don't purchase within the next five minutes, they're going to be missing out on your offer. And I think we all know that scarcity and urgency definitely increase sales conversions. Now, that's not all. We actually allow you to do not just scarcity by time, but also scarcity by units. Let me show you how that works. So I get to select the maximum amount of units that I want to make available to sell. Let's say 25. Now, when I display the offer, they will see that there are only 25 units available. Now, I can then go and control the number of units available from my admin console. So, if I've got my shopping cart open next to me, every time I see a sale, I can deduct one of those units. And now, only 24 are left available. And I can remove another one, and there it is, and only 23 are available. So, you can see they actually update in real time. Or here's what's kind of cool. You can simply embed a tracking token on your shopping cart's thank you page. So every time your shopping cart registers a sale, the counter is automatically updated in real time without you having to click up or down on any button. Now, I think this next feature is a total game changer. Let me show you how to configure something that we call the video engine in order to create hybrid webinars. You see, what we can do here is we can blend the power and urgency of a live webinar session with the precision of pre-recorded video. So essentially, at any point in the webinar, you can switch your live broadcast signal into a pre-recorded video. For example, let's say that you're doing a multiple webinar campaign with several different joint venture partners. And you finally get that one great pitch that you do on a live webinar And you want to take that recording of that great pitch and use it on all of your future webinars. So what you do is you start off your webinar with a live presentation, broadcasting your webcam and your audio signal or screen sharing in real time to welcome your attendees in the room. And you give your presentation now when it's time to get down to that pitch, you simply click on a button and the entire presentation will go into pre-recorded playback mode. Now, at that time, your attendees will not be seeing your live broadcast signal anymore. Instead, they will see that pre-recorded video. So, you get to sit back, relax, and let the video do the pitching for you. Now, once the video is done, you can click on another button and you're back in live mode so you can close the webinar session or maybe conduct some Q&A live right there with that audience. This is a great way to handle any last-minute objections, last-minute doubts, or overcome any issues that may have popped up from the customer's point of view. So, let me show you how to inject a video into a live web environment. Okay, here on the left is the administrator's console, whereas here on the right is the attendee's console, just like before. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm just broadcasting this fixed image, which is my Gmail avatar. But normally, I would be broadcasting either my webcam or screen sharing my desktop where I might be sharing my PowerPoint or keynote presentation, whatever it might be. So, I'm going to push this one to the left and I'm going to go into the videos tab and I'm going to select out of two pre recorded videos that I've configured. This one, this first one called New York. I load it up and then I click play. And you'll see that my attendees here on the left will start seeing the same video that I've displayed. Now, at any point, I can end the video and resume the Hangout by clicking on this button. And now, I'm back in live mode. Now, additionally, I can play multiple videos. So, for example, this second video, load it up, press play, and the second video starts to play right away. So, this is going to allow me to pre-record segments of my live presentation, for example. And when I do presentations on software, when I conduct a PowerPoint pitch, or whatever the product or service I may be promoting... And I might want to simply sit back and let the pre-recorded video do the best job for me. Or I want to make sure that I'm saving all of my energy to create more interesting live segments on my webinar, ones that maybe require my personal attention. Obviously, being able to do a live Q&A after having a great, perfectly delivered pre-recorded pitch is really going to help you with your conversion rates. So I can either wait for the countdown timer of the video to reach zero 
or I can cancel this video and go back into live mode. It's just that easy. So in this step, we get to configure our replay page. And we have a number of options here. First of all, we get to select the type of replay and whether or not we want to choose something called a replica replay, which is basically an exact mirror copy of your live presentation. The system will record absolutely every event that took place in the live presentation, such as the chat lines rolling along in real time, any video engine injections that you might have displayed to your audience, or any offer you may have popped in at any time during your webinar. The system records the exact timestamp where that event happens and replicates it on the replay event at the specific second and throughout the entire presentation. So it's basically like mimicking exactly the live webinar environment, except that it's been pre recorded. Now, in the event that you want to simply display a custom video or an edited video of your previous live session, just because you want to maybe edit those parts that didn't quite work for you or do some sort of post-production where you tweak some of the things that happen on your webinar, simply select this second option, type in here the URL of your video wherever it may be hosted on the internet. So for example, your Amazon S3 account, YouTube, really wherever you wish, and the replay room will replay that custom video for you. Or finally, you can alternatively just redirect your replay audience into any third party URL that you may choose, whether it's your blog or inside your membership site, basically anywhere on the web. You can also set an expiration date for your replay. Say that you only want to give your audience access to that replay video for, say, 72 hours after finishing the live session. If you do that, anyone who tries to access the replay session after this time will see an expired page, so they won't be able to access that replay page anymore. You can also set your replay to be private or make it public. If you make it public, the system will publish your replay video on YouTube as publicly listed, and basically anyone who browses YouTube will be able to find your replay session, and so you'll potentially be getting more eyeballs on whatever product you might be promoting or pitching. And here's a really cool thing you can enable. It's a question box that will actually appear on your replay page. So when someone enters a question, We'll take that question that comes in from your audience via the replay page and send it to your email address in case you want to answer back, or maybe you have someone on staff addressing those questions from your replay audience that will help you maybe get some extra sales by overcoming objections or clarifying information that your viewer has during the replay. So right here, you'd enter your email address and the system will redirect all of those questions back into your email box. Now let's click save and next and move into the monetization tab. Here you have the option of actually charging a fee for people to attend your webinar. And I don't mean for any kind of product or service you may be pitching on the webinar, but actually in order to access the live webinar room itself, they would have to actually pay you a fee. Now, by default, the system allows anyone to register for free. But if you wanted to say charge $20 per seat, you could do that. It's just another way that you could be earning an income stream from your webinars. Finally, if you run an affiliate program for any product you promote through your webinar, you can display that fact in our Jams on Demand Webinars on Demand directory. You can display a quick link for your affiliates to sign up for your product and promote your webinar. So not only would you get more registrations for your live session, but you're also potentially going to get some affiliates to find your webinars and be interested in working with you and promoting your webinars, especially when you've got a winner. So if you're interested in attracting joint venture partners and affiliates, make sure that you plug in your affiliate link so you can send more traffic into your live sessions. Okay, let's just click save and next and we're done. Now at this point, all you have to do is go to the my webinar tab right here. Go to the link section, grab the link you're going to give to your audience so they can go ahead and register for your webinar. And this one right here would be the link that you use as the webinar administrator to actually log into the webinar room. Now, this is important. This second link gives you access to what we call the control panel. This is an expanded control dashboard. 
so that you or any member of your staff can load up on a different browser or a different computer, maybe even a laptop sitting next to your main computer, and you still have full control of what's going on with your webinar at all times, and you're not taking up streaming bandwidth. So let me go ahead and load up this control panel, and I'll give you a quick walk around. All right, so in the Studio Control Center here, I have all the options that I get from the sidebar and much more. So for example, I can segment all of the incoming chat lines and separate them into standard chats or questions. The system will mark them in different colors and we use a color code system so you can easily differentiate what kind of content it is and what you want to address right away. So let me give you an example. Let's just say that as an attendee, I type something in like, hello everybody, and I don't mark this tick box. When I send it, I'm going to receive it in a gray color over here in my studio control center. And I've got some options here about how to handle that particular chat, such as edit, delete, or whatever action I want to take here. But now let's just say that I wanted to type in an important question. Say, for example, do you have a money back guarantee? And I mark it as a question and the system will make that appear in red here in the studio control center. So I'm going to have it in red right here. So now I know at a glance that some of these chats coming in are more important because they're questions. And this is going to help me or my staff or somebody that's helping me moderate that webinar deal with these questions in the most efficient way. Now, this is a really cool tool. It's called Feedback Flow. I can actually broadcast these questions by clicking on this icon right here. And so Let's look at what's going to happen over here at the right side of my screen, which my attendee is watching. I'm going to broadcast this question and I'm going to make it display for everyone as an overlay right over the video presentation. And here's what's really cool. I can broadcast the answer that I give to that specific person. So I can say something like, absolutely, yes, we have a 30 day refund policy and I broadcast it right there and everybody's going to see my response. Not only is it going to display right here on the top of the sidebar, but since I really want to make sure that they don't miss it, I'm going to broadcast it for everybody, and it's going to display right here in the middle of their screen. And you can also customize the look and feel of your Studio Control Center because these boxes are click and drag, and you can just arrange them according to your needs. Now here in the attendees section, I've got some more options. We can see how many people are right now in the room. Now in this demo, it's just me, myself, the admin and one attendee, which is this person right here. Now I can make the attendee list public or not, and I can redirect anyone to any URL I wish to at any time. So for example, say that I'm done pitching my product. I might just want to go ahead and redirect everybody to my sales page or my checkout page. And let me just give you an example. I'm going to just push this right here to the left and I'm going to type in, I don't know, let's just say I want to redirect everybody to CNN or Fox News, whatever. <laughs> uh, and I hit redirect and now, boom, they're all directed to CNN.com or whatever page I wish. I've got some more options over here in terms of configuring what's going to happen with how I interact with every person in my room. I can, for example, invite them as a speaker. If I invite Carrie, which is the attendee right here, look what happens. Carrie can become immediately upon clicking the accept button, a presenter. Now he'll be able to join the call in real time and he'll be able to broadcast his voice, his audio, his screen, and be part of the live presentation. So imagine that someone has purchased your product and wants to drop a real time testimonial. Let's say you want to invite someone for a training session and you want to make that person a participant of the presentation. You simply invite them on the fly, and boom, there they are. They can be part of the live presentation. Over here in the dashboard, you'll have real-time statistics of your traffic and your attendees on your live room here, and it's a chart that's going to update every five minutes. As time goes on, you'll see this chart building in real time, and you'll see whether at some point maybe you're losing the attention because they're dropping out of the room, or whether or not they're logging on late, and so you'll see the bars building right here. You also have real-time data on your sales as well, as the revenue that you're generating from your webinar comes in. 
And right here, you'll also have a real-time ratio of how many people are actually in the room out of all the registrants that signed up for your webinar. Now, let's say, for example, that you notice that at the beginning of your webinar, very few people are actually jumping into the call. Maybe they forgot to come in live at a specific time. Well, now you can send them an email reminder or even an SMS or a phone call message, letting them know that you're already live and it's time to log into the webinar room right away. And you can do that right here. This is a fantastic way to get everybody engaged. And anybody who may have missed the appointed date and time, they have a second opportunity to come and join you. And this, of course, is where you can manage your polls. And we've talked about that before. You can pop them in and out at any time you wish. Same with your offers and your video injection from the video engine. So here's just another example of how the video engine works. You can play any video and that video will display for all of your attendees. I'm just going to pause the video and go back into live mode. And now we're broadcasting live. So the Studio Control Center gives you more flexibility and more control on your live webinar room and anything that happens while your presentation is on live. Now, once you're done with your live presentation, simply go back into your dashboard and you can go to the analytics section and see how that webinar has performed. Select the webinar right here and analytics will be displayed. So you can see things like your traffic analytics, how many people visited your registration page, how many actually registered, how many of them made it into the live room, and how many of them made it to the replay page. You can also get insights and statistics of what happened inside the actual live room. How long did the webinar last? What was the average time on the live page and the replay page? How many of them made it to the very end of the webinar? And for all of the pop-in offers you displayed in your webinar, you'll know how many clicks they generated as well as sales and revenue. You can also download the chat history in case you want to read it through and maybe spot reoccurring comments or questions that your attendees were asking. And that way, you could go ahead and alter your upcoming webinars. And of course, there's the monetization analytics. You know, how much money you earned, your EPCs or earnings per click, your earnings per attendee, your sales conversions. Basically, everything that's money related is right here. And that's going to be great information for your advertising as well as to talk to your joint venture partners with. And finally, you'll be able to extract a full list of your registrants and your attendees. So, for example, you can segment the list based on a number of parameters, whether they made it to the live session or not, whether they made it to the replay room or not, whether they purchased the product, and whether they passed on your offer. So, you can filter and segment your registrants list, and later, you can send them specific emails or even SMS text messages. Say, for example, you want to send them an email with a reminder of your offer or your discount coupon, giving them another opportunity to purchase your product. And maybe you just want to let them know about a new webinar you've got coming up next week. This is powerful marketing right here, and it's not done very often, especially with webinars, because now we can create predefined messages that go to specific behaviors and really target our attendees and registrants accordingly. And that's Webinar Jam Studio. And right now, during our special introductory launch, Webinar Jam Studio comes at an amazing price and with bonus applications to take your marketing to the next level. So for a very limited time, Webinar Jam Studio comes with Webinar Genesis, an advanced online digital training course based on the five laws of a no-fail successful webinar. With over seven hours of strategy and advice based on the data obtained from reverse engineering, over a hundred profitable webinars campaigns. Webinar Genesis is normally sold separately for $297, but it's now included with Webinar Jam Studio, but only for a limited time during this grand opening. You'll also get six months of access to a new platform called Ever Webinar. Ever Webinar is set to establish the new standard for evergreen pre-recorded webinar campaigns. With Ever Webinar's close integration with Webinar Jam Studio, you'll be able to create pitch-perfect pre-recorded presentations and publish them as an event, complete with automated registration, email and SMS reminders, and time and date specific event-based playback of your pre-recorded presentation. It's everything that Webinar Jam Studio offers, and now with EverWebinar, you can create hands-off automated campaigns available to your audience as often as you want. 
Finally, during this limited time introductory period, you'll also receive access to the next generation of e-commerce automation and marketing technology. It's called Kartra. With Kartra's vast set of integrated e-commerce, publishing, marketing, and analytics tools, you'll finally be able to manage your entire online business from a single dashboard. Kartra is designed as a total solution, letting you publish marketing pages, stream marketing videos, capture subscribers, create email follow-up messages based on your subscriber behavior, manage your prospects and customers with a built-in help desk, offer affiliate programs, get detailed conversion and performance analytics, even create membership platforms so you can deliver your digital content. Best of all, Kartra was designed with you, the entrepreneur, in mind, and that means that you don't need IT or programming skills to make it work. Kartra gives you a unified dashboard to manage your online business, and we want you to give it a try risk-free. So during Webinar Jam's studio's introduction, you'll get full access to Webinar Genesis, a $297 value, six months worth of access to EverWebinar, and a 90-day free trial to Kartra Professional, plus a full year's worth of access to Webinar Jam Studio, all for just $297. But remember, this fantastic value is only available during Webinar Jam Studios introductory period. So make sure you take advantage of this over $1,200 worth of special bonuses before they're gone. You can see more details about this offer right below this video. Give them a look right now.